children in this video we will learn about what is a meter and why do we use a meter curtains are going to be hung at various places at the fair in champapur chanda has got the task of making those curtains chanda thought that she would buy material from uncle's shop and make the curtains Chanda had learned from Appu about the use of centimeters and rulers. So she is confident that she will easily be able to give the correct measurements for the curtains to uncle. She immediately reached the fair taking her 15 cm ruler. Poles were erected at the places where curtains were to be hung. Chanda thought that if she measures the distance between the poles, then she will get the size of the curtain. Chanda began to measure the distance between the poles with her ruler. But Chanda's ruler is very small. She is unable to measure the distance between the poles with her ruler. Just then, Appu was passing by. Seeing Chanda upset, he asked her, "What she is measuring using that small ruler?" Chanda tells him that she is trying to measure the distance between the poles. Appu heard this and started laughing loudly. When Chanda asks him why he is laughing, Appu told her that she could only measure the length of small objects like pen, notebook, etc. in centimeters with the help of ruler. But to measure the length of large objects she has to use a meter chanda immediately asked appu what is this meter appu then explained to her that 1 meter is equal to 100 cm chanda was shocked she asked appu Is it possible to make such a long ruler? Yes. There is a long ruler to measure in meters. But if we have to measure the length of any object in meters, we can do this more easily by using a measuring tape. Chanda told him I have never seen a measuring tape. Can you show me? Appu then told her that he doesn't have it at that moment. But if she met him at uncle's shop the next day, then he would borrow the measuring tape from uncle and show it to her. Chanda agreed. The two decided to meet at uncle's shop the next day. and went to their respective homes children in this video we learnt about what is a meter why do we use a meter in the next video we will learn about how we can use the meter with some interesting examples children in the previous video we learned about what is a meter and why do we use a meter in this video we will learn how we can use the meter with some interesting examples chanda and appu have come to see the measuring tape at uncle's shop appu asked uncle for his measuring tape Appu showed the measuring tape to Chanda. Chanda got very excited after seeing it. 
she asked appu how she must use it appu told chanda look at these measuring lines these small vertical lines show the measurement of centimeters and the long vertical lines show us the measurement in meters appu took a material from uncle and measured it in such a way using the measure tape children can you tell how long this material is c the length of the material is more than the length of 1 meter but how many centimeters is one small line 1 cm this way the length of this material is 1 meter and 4 cm chamba was shocked she asked appu is this possible can the length of objects be measured using both meters and centimeters appu laughed and said yes it is absolutely possible chanda then told him that she did not have such a measuring tape so how can she measure the length of objects in meters appu returned uncle's measuring tape and went with chanda to buy a measuring tape from the shop nearby from there both of them bought measuring tape for themselves chanda was very happy to get her measuring tape now chanda asked appu i don't understand which objects will be measured in meters and which objects will be measured in centimeters children here are few objects can you tell the length of which of these items will be measured in centimeters and length of which of these items will be measured in meters well done children you have answered correctly we can measure the length of these items in meters and can measure the length of these items in centimeters appu explained this to chanda using these items chanda became very happy knowing that now she will be able to easily measure the curtains to be used in the fair she thanked appu and happily returned to her house with her measuring tape children in this video with some interesting examples we learned how to use meter in the next video we will look at some of the misconceptions related to this children in the last video with some interesting examples we learned how to use meter and why we use it In this video we will look at some of the misconceptions related to this. Chanda measured the size of the curtains with her measuring tape. When Chanda reached Barbole uncle's shop to get her curtains stitched, Golu was also there buying material for his shirt from uncle. Chanda saw that Golu asked uncle for a 1 meter long material and uncle cut the material as long as his arm length Chanda was surprised Chanda had got her measuring tape along As soon as uncle cut Golu's material she took that material from golu 
and immediately measured it with her measuring tape. Children, is the material that was cut using uncle's arm length one meter long? No, uncle gave one arm long material which is one meter and five centimeter long. Chanda explained to Chacha and Golu that the length of one arm varies for everyone. So they cannot use it to measure one meter. For example, the length of her one arm is not equal to the length of uncle's one arm. And the length of uncle's one arm is not the same as one meter. She told uncle that he should measure the material using his measuring tape. Both Golu and uncle understood this. Chanda gave uncle the measurement of her curtains and returned to her home. After returning home, Chanda measured her pencil with a ruler in such a way and found that the pencil is 10 cm in length. Then she measured the length of her roof with her measuring tape and found that the roof was 10 meters long. Chanda started thinking that the length of both her roof and pencil is 10 and 10. So are they both of the same length? What do you think children? Is Chanda's thinking correct? No. Chanda's pencil is 10 cm in length while her roof is 10 meters in length. And children, you know how many centimeters is equal to 1 meter? Exactly! 100 centimeters. And the length of roof is 10 meters. So the length of the roof is 10 meters and the length of the pencil is 10 centimeters which means the roof is bigger than the pencil. Chanda understood this also and she went to bring her curtains from uncle's shop. Children, in this video we learnt what is a meter and how is a meter used and about the misconceptions related to it.